Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the moon. Now there is an advantage for the Earth to have a moon and by the way none of the, the terrestrial planets when they were first formed about four and a half billion years ago had any moons. Moons were solely the property of the large gas planets. They were large enough and they had debris fields around them so that they developed, developed their own moons or formed their own moons. They didn't develop them per se, but moons were formed around them through pretty well the same process as what created the solar system in the, as a, in the first place. So the terrestrial planets did not have any moons. Now, if the Earth didn't have any moon, it may not have had a detrimental effect on life on the Earth. Life still would have been possible, but with the moon present, it made it a whole lot easier. And let's take a look and see why that may be the case. So it turns out that at one point in time there was no moon around the Earth, but then a very large object such as a planetesimal, and during the beginning formation of the solar system, there were lots of planetesimals in the inner solar system. Now the large ones end up becoming larger and larger as more objects ended up being accumulated, and those then formed the four terrestrial planets. But there were still loose planetesimals around, and sometimes they would hit one of the planets and they would create quite a bit of havoc. In this case, a large planetesimal hit the Earth and instead of being absorbed by the Earth in the collision, it must have been so large that it actually broke off or pushed off a chunk of the Earth. Now, of course, that created so much energy that it was essentially a debris of, of very hot, loose material that ended up becoming kind of a spherical donut-shaped region around the Earth. Now slowly that began to coalesce and eventually began to form the moon. So roughly four and a half billion, maybe 4.4 billion years ago or so, the moon was formed from that massive collision. Now initially the moon was about 25,000 kilometers away, so there was a very strong gravitational force between the moon and the earth. And because of that, there was a very big tidal bulge and the oceans would rise and fall with the tide a tremendous amount. Now it turns out that initially the rotation of the Earth was approximately six hours, which means we had three hours of daylight and three hours of night. Now if that had still been the case today, and it would have been if the moon wasn't present, then days would have been so short that the temperature on the Earth would be significantly cooler than they are today, and so therefore not as nice for life to be able to exist. The fact that the moon kept pulling on that tidal bulge, slowing it down, and now the rotation went from a six hour day to a 24 hour day, we have much warmer days and we're able to provide a nice stable temperature environment for life on the Earth because of the moon was present. Now, the moon also slowly started moving away because the moon was also losing energy due to the gravitational interaction, which caused the moon to slowly move away from the 25,000 kilometers to about 385,000 kilometers today, and the moon is continuing to slowly move away. Now, the effect on the Earth, of course, is diminishing, and the tidal bulges we have now with the moon that much further away are much, much smaller, and, in addition to that, the slowing down of the Earth's rotation is also diminishing as the Moon moves farther away. We're estimating that in about a half a billion years from now, the Earth's day would be about 26 hours and 24 hours, but that's a long time for now, so don't hope for any more time in the near future. But that was a big deal. The fact that the Earth now had a rotation of 24 hours rather than, than 6 hours made a huge difference in the temperature stabilization of the Earth, much warmer days, much more uh, of a nice environment for life to be able to exist. In addition to that, the Moon being present also gave the Earth a much more stable orientation. The Earth's axis uh, makes a tilt currently of about 23.5 degrees, and we've estimated, due to lots of calculations, that varies from about 21 and a half to about 25 degrees. That's relatively stable. Now, even though it's not perfectly stable, that does cause some climate effects, but not as big. Without the moon, those variations would be much larger, and because much larger variation in the actual tilt would cause tremendous changes in the climate of the Earth. 
because that's not been stabilized because the moon we don't have those vast climate variations again makes it much more easy for life to be able to survive to the various periodic climate change that the earth does have but much smaller than would have been if the earth didn't have a moon and the actual tilt was not so stable there's a third part that makes the moon more preferable than having no moon is the fact that we have tidal pools especially in the early stages of development of life the tidal pools were much larger that the variation of oceans coming in and going out and coming in created a region around the you know the the shores so to speak where all the oceans were where life could more easily exist and on top of that have a transition from from sea life to animal life because these vast tidal pools we have all around the world if that wasn't the case if the oceans were perfectly still and the water wouldn't come up or down it would be much more difficult for life to transition from sea life to land life so again there seems to be a lot of impetus for the advantages of life because the presence of the moon I do believe that without the moon life probably still would be here because there's so many other perfect conditions on the earth but you can see again that having that moon there simply made it a lot better it would be much harder for us to live in six hour days instead of 24 hour days it just wouldn't warm up that much in the daytime and the temperatures would be much colder it would be hard to get all the work done in just a three hour day as well <laughs> that's a little side topic but uh, anyway you can see that the moon seemed to have played a significant role in the advantages for life to be able to exist on the earth again another reason why we're living in such a miraculous place So why does the moon move out is the question. Well, it turns out that the Earth loses energy and so does the moon because of the tidal, uh, the tidal forces. And what happens is since the Earth rotates so quickly, the tidal bulge actually gets ahead of the moon going around the Earth. So that means that the tidal bulge is always pulling on the moon and the moon is always pulling on the tidal bulge, which then slows the rotational speed of the Earth. So we lose energy to the rotational speed of the Earth and we lose energy from the moon because of that interaction which causes it to slow down in its motion. Whoa, something happened, all right. <laughs> so it causes the moon to slow down and the move to move farther away so that the angle of momentum is not conserved because we're taking energy away from the moon and so the moon responds in moving farther away from the Earth. That's how uh, the moon continues to move away and eventually the moon will be so far away that we no longer will have total solar eclipses unfortunately.